Welcome back, yes, Paco. Part two, learning with leaders with Sarah Goodell today. She will introduce her approach when asking employees to write about their own experiences on LinkedIn and how to overcome the psychological hurdle to do so. And the importance, which is, of course, very close to my heart and to MC Fraser's uh, core purpose, is the importance of lifelong learning that never ends. Enjoy today's sessions. I see. And uh, so when you hire those talented young uh, folks in, in your team, um, I mean, there is especially in, in the beginning when you get to know each other, when they get to know the business uh, they're working in, uh, how do you ensure that they get empowered at the right moment? Uh, what, what, what's, what are the crucial moments there? Yeah, that's, that's a really interesting one. Um, and I, if I'm being honest, hand on heart, I think we're still trying to figure that out. We're trying to learn. We we do have a very structured, for even for a small business, we have a very structured onboarding process. Mm -hmm. Thanks to our amazing delivery and delight um, guy, Felipe. He, you know, he's he's put that in place very early on. So, you know, we're putting them through everything. They're touching all parts of our business. They're they're experiencing what our customers experience because you know they have to do that because otherwise they're not you know they get to feel the services before they start working on the services so we have a very structured onboarding program for the first sort of three months actually mm -hmm. um and then we start to encourage them to dip in so here's the thing what we do anybody who joins us we ask them to write a blog within the first sort of month to six weeks and and a lot of people will be like oh i've got nothing to say you have just had an experience for that first month or six week, weeks. Write about it, right? Write mm -hmm. about your experience. It's a great log of how you felt, but it's also your first blog, right? And it's very authentic. It's very human. It's very real. So in that sense, we let them go quite early, but mm -hmm. within something they understand. Um, have, have ever somebody who has written their first blog got negative feedback? No. No, no. Do you know, and also LinkedIn, I think people get worried about LinkedIn. It's a very friendly community. You know, mm -hmm. you're not going to get trolled. It's not like Twitter. But even mm -hmm. on Twitter, there are communities of healthy communities. There's healthy communities, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody just thinks Twitter's a place for, you know, having arguments and everybody picking it. It's not, right? That happens. But there are also some very healthy communities on Twitter. But LinkedIn is not a place for that. It's a it's a supportive place. It's a it's a constructive mm. place. Um, and you know it's wonderful because in those blogs I learn things about them. Mm. I learn things about the experience that I know that we can tweak or we can make better. I've mm. picked up things from there that I think, oh yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we could try that. I didn't know you did that. That's really good. You're really good at writing. Mm. You know. Um, mm. It's a great experience. So you kind of let them go early, but you mm. let them go with something they know whilst they're building their confidence with the other things that they do. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm sure yeah. they're so proud of themselves afterwards. It, it gives, it yeah, they pumps are. them up. Yeah, mm. and the team love it because they mm. like it, yes. they share it, we mm. comment on it. Um, mm -hmm. And then very soon, I mean, I'm thinking of, I don't know if Liz will ever watch this, but I'm thinking of you, Liz. I mean, she <laughs> she did one blog. And then very soon after, she wrote a next one. And she's like, I've never done this before. I've never blogged before. Do you know what? I actually quite like it. I think she's written like three or four since. Um, that's that's empowerment at its best. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it is, isn't it? I haven't thought about that. But it is. Yeah, yeah it is. It's wonderful. You know, I, lo I, I love the idea. I love the idea. Yeah, yeah. so do that, whoever's watching. You know, mm. you, you can't give... The, if I said to them, write about that service and they didn't really fully understand it, whatever, it'd be very hard. Write about your experience. It's the easiest thing people can do. Um, and there's no right or wrong answer, right? It's not like you're going to get it wrong. It comes from I the agree. heart. So mm. there you go. Sarah, you were mentioning a few times already lifelong learning. Yeah. So why also in social media, in, in, in the business environment you are uh, evolving with, with your team, why training and learning also here plays such a big role? Yeah, it's, I, well, the platforms are updating at a rate of knots. I mean, since, for example, Microsoft bought LinkedIn, there are updates coming out every week. It's hard to stay on top of them all. So from a technical perspective, 
we have to be lifelong learners. We have to be open to here's a change, here's a change. And we share as a community. So internally at Tribal, we're all keeping our eyes out. Um, but I think, you know, to stay relevant, I mean, everything is changing. Digital transformation as a topic is changing organisations. It's changing people. You know, if you pick your niche, you stay on top of your niche. You don't have to be on top of everything, but mm. just stay on top of the topic that, you own that you claim that you've carved out for yourself be the expert because that's what differentiates you from every other marketing person pre-sales consultant um salesperson pick your niche and be expert at it people will start to know you for it they'll follow you for it they'll know that you're the one that's at the edge of it um, and I, you know, you have to adopt a lifelong learning mentality. I'll be honest, Paco, I was rubbish at school. I didn't like school. I hated mm. school. I'm not an academic person. Mm. I think I failed all but one of my A-levels and, you know, I'm not an academic, but it wasn't until um, I went to university, which I nearly didn't go to because I just hated academic, um, <clears throat> that I actually realised that learning can be fun. Um learning doesn't need to be a chore it's actually really interesting and I think mm. once we get out of this school mentality of oh I have to do it because I've got to do my exams actually learning is fascinating and oh. mm. it just makes you a better person and it makes you grow and you meet new people and you know it's so it's so inspiring you know yeah I, I it is is I'm trying to teach my kids mm. this you know mm. my poor my poor daughter who really doesn't like school at the minute I'm like mm. school is half about learning about Henry VIII and you know the Battle of Waterloo that's half of it the other half is learning how to grow up how to be meet people how to communicate how to do things you know school's Growth not mindset yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it really is um yeah. I love this topic yeah mm. Okay. Talking uh, about, and we're almost at the end already. Oh. I mean, it, I could it could go on forever, <laughs> Sarah. So uh, one, one question which I uh, always ask uh, at, at the end of, of these conversations is, what is your top tip for a young professional these days? I mean, how to ensure to be successful and fulfilled of what they do? Yeah, I would say... Um you start building your network that would be my top tip is start building your network and anybody you meet anybody you talk to any conversations that you get involved in on social add them into your linkedin network it, it, everyone's got to start somewhere um and i do understand you know people will look at others with thousands of connections like oh, i'm never going to get there you start somewhere start now start today And that will start to grow and morph and mushroom. And, and then before you know it, you've got an established network. Start building your network because it is your network that will get you through tough times. It will be your network that you can call upon for advice. I mean, in this last two weeks, the last few weeks, it's been tough for me. I'm struggling, right? And But I've, I'm having conversations with people outside my immediate sphere, and it's inspiring me. Your network mm. will pick you up. Your network will tell you when something's not right. Your network will get you your next job. Your network will get you your next promotion. Your network is gold dust. So start building it now would be my biggest advice. So, Sarah, thank you very much. It was so much fun. I really appreciate it. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. I did. Good questions, Paco. They're tough. They are tough. Thank you. They're deep. It's not normally the questions I get. So I'm like, oh. Yes, yeah, that was my ambition. That was my ambition, Sarah. <laughs> It worked. <laughs> I, I wish you an excellent day. Thank you Cheers, very much. Okay, bye. Bye bye.